A 17 year old boy faced sentencing this morning on four felonies in connection with threats directed at Plymouth Canton High Schools. His name is Brendan Sybil and he pleaded guilty to two counts of terrorism threat, a 20 year felony and two counts of bomb threat, a four year felony, but likely won't serve that full sentence. Local force Sean Lay has the very latest. It's the first time we're seeing jail time for a student making a threat, but at the same time that the judge also cut him a break. Brendan Seibel, Mr. Seibel is charged with two counts of uh, false terrorism threats, also two counts of false uh, bomb threats. Brendan Seibel pled guilty to four felonies for writing bomb threats on the bathroom wall of Canton High School in March, sending the school into a soft lockdown and an early dismissal. In the wake of the Parkland, Florida school shooting, school threats cause stress for students, staff, and parents. In court this morning at sentencing day, Seibel apologized. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, and I've learned my lesson. Judge James Shalinsky says he received more than 30 letters in support of Seibel, but pointed out those letters did not mention his past criminal record of three disorderly conducts, 30 disciplinary incidents at his school, and he was on probation for a marijuana charge when he made the threats. Apparently 6,000 people involved in that campus, so when this was read on the bathroom wall, uh, it caused the... Uh, administration and everybody to, to kind of go crazy because they had to notify people decide whether to close the school or not. But if Seibel conforms to in home counseling, his felonies on his record go away. In return, the judge gave him four months in jail. He was facing 20 years and at the last moment in court, the judge cut the four months to three. You've been nothing but a gentleman as long as this has gone on. So I'm going to cut your sentence down to three months. Uh, as opposed to the four. Seibel will also be on probation for the next three years. Sean Lay, Local 4.